Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to start doing some prep work for APOC. For those of you who don't know, APOC is a NIC Northeastern War uh, that happens every August. Uh, I forget which number this is, but I'm prepping for the 2018 one. I uh, just finished printing off my caliber and I bought the hardware kit and uh, have been putting this together slowly over time. But I figured uh, that would be a perfect event to try this out. So I finally finished printing that off and I have like one or two small tweaks and then I'll make a video on this. But basically uh, it's a NIC grade war and what that means is higher FPS, the cap is 300. Uh, so a lot of my HVZ stuff would definitely be outclassed, so that's why I went about making this Caliburn. Uh, and then I have some other stuff in that box, which uh, will go into the prep work. Okay, so we got a few things that will help us out with that higher grade NIC type gameplay. Uh, we got some Katana mags, so I got three of the two packs in one of the adapter ones, so just now all the way at the bottom. But that basically allows you to use it with the normal blaster, so that way for my caliber and I can have both normal and short dart use. I actually do already have some of the uh, short worker 15 dart mags. These are the hex mags, which I think look really cool. Uh, these are 15 dart ones, but I wanted to try out the katana mags. Uh, also, a lot of people are doing 3D printed designs around the uh, specific short dart mags, which I wasn't sure if would be ready for APOC, but I figured you know might as well invest in short dart mags since they are seeming to be more popular now, and they're definitely uh, going to play a larger part in the future, so I figured I'd grab a few to try for APOC, uh, and then the 3D printed ones uh, maybe in the future. I also got some of the worker Stefan darts now. These are green Gen 2s, uh, as you can see here. I have a bunch of those already, so I figured I'd just stock up some more while I was getting the Katana mags. Uh, I made Stefans for this event last year, uh, but that was pretty painful, um, being that these are widely more available now. Uh, I'd much rather just pay for the worker ones rather than make my own. I also stocked up on some modding supplies. We got some of the fake 21 amp switches, some voltmeters, which are around here. Then I got some motors. Okay, now that I have all the paper off, it's much easier to show these off, but I got some of the new out of dart Kraken motors. Uh, these are the Foam Blast Collaboration ones. Uh, and basically, they are 130 sized uh, ball bearing, uh, sort of high torque 3S motors. Uh, you can feel how strong they are when they're in your hand, so it's pretty cool. But uh, I got these for my bullpup rapid strike build, uh, and then another pair just to test out in flywheel cage. While on the topic of motors, I just got some more fangs revamped because I tried them out, really liked them, uh, and I only had one pair left, and I like to stock up on motors, so I figured I would grab an extra pair while I was ordering. Then lastly, we got some uh, Morpheus guides. Now, these are really cool. I have a 3D printer, so it's very easy for me to print off whatever space and cage I need. Slap one of these guides in and then have a pretty accurate uh, cage. I want to try one of the canted cages as well, so I figured I'd grab a few more of these guides. Okay, I hesitated originally on buying katana mags because normally I don't use short darts anyway, but being that that's the primary uh, type of dart for this type of event, I figured I'd give them a stab, but being that there's no uh, other options really at this moment. There's some prototype ones going around for 3D printed versions, however, uh, nothing's been extensively tested, so I figured I'd grab these. Uh, some people had complaints that they kind of get stuck. Uh, you can actually even see in the packaging that uh, this one is sort of stuck down and uh, not too bad with the other ones, but mostly uh, you can sort of see what's going on here. Sometimes if you applied pressure to the sides, the followers would get stuck. Um, and then people also complained that they weren't really lubricated. You can kind of see a little lubrication. Uh, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but inside the plastic. So I guess let's crack one of these open and see how it works. Packaging's cool, but uh, it doesn't really matter after the first like 30 seconds. So it pops back after being taken out of the package. Uh, first test seems to work okay, but then some people were saying like if you put pressure, like I'm barely holding this, I can kind of catch it. Uh, I know OFP just released a version of a low friction version, so I'll probably print some of those out and uh, try them out and re-lubricate the mags. I actually bought, went out and bought some uh, dry lubricant. This is like a graphite. 
uh, that you can spray into these so hopefully it won't catch too much dirt uh, if it's pretty bad outside or if I drop them a lot. Uh, one of the benefits I guess of printing the uh, followers too is I can put my name on it because uh, I wanted the orange ones just because I'm not a huge fan of the clear like the black mags. Uh, so I definitely wanted the orange ones, but you know, pretty much everyone has the orange ones. So printing followers either in a different color or that have my name on them would be a huge bonus. So in total I got seven of the mags, uh, three of the two packs, and then one of the uh, one with the adapter. So I can definitely see the appeal of a short dart mag a little bit more. So for example, right, like that's seven mags, uh, they're very thin. Uh, about half as thin as the normal mags, obviously. So like that's seven mags, and here's one of the 15 dart short mags. Uh, that's more of a full-size mag that they just uh, sort of adapted the design, whereas this is just totally short dart. Uh, but basically you can sort of see the difference here. Like that's 15 darts, whereas you know seven of those is whatever, like 105 darts. So that's pretty crazy how small of a space that fits in. So theoretically how this should work is I can prime my cattle burn. I will slap in the adapter mag well now. A little tight, but a lot of the aftermarket mags are a little tight that I've tried in my cattle burn. Uh, and then the short dart mag should fit in. Now this secondary release will down here will be for the katana mags and then this one I'll use to take out the adapter when I'm done. Uh, and then I Prime it, and shoot. Seemed to work. So I finally cracked one of my katana mags open. Uh, it took a little while, and it was a little frustrating as an experience, to be honest. Uh, however, I think I finally got it down. I tried a few different screwdrivers. It's actually the Dremel little uh, wrench tool. The back screwdriver portion of that works really well and made it a lot easier. Also, it appears my orange ones were uh, lubricated. There is uh, not a lot of lubricant in here, but there is definitely some kind of wet lubricant. Uh, I know some people had mentioned uh, that when they got theirs, uh, they were completely dry. Mine definitely have lube in them. Uh, not a lot, so I'm going to be washing them out and replacing them when I replace the follower. But uh, I'll probably make a whole video just testing the OFP follower versus this, but I figured We'll do uh, this one while we unbox it and do some other APOC prep. So here we have my CR10S, which is the printer I'll be using. I'm going to take off the little plate and clean it real quick. But basically I was thinking about it and I was originally going to use this uh, orange PLA, but then I figured that doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, if I use another color, it'll make my mags a little more easily distinguishable. So uh, I think between the different colored followers and like I said, I might edit my name onto the follower itself just to uh, really make it distinguishable as mine compared to a lot of other people's because I got the orange mags that pretty much everyone has. Then in terms of the Katana mags and their testing, I have the OFP follower with the wet lube, with the OFP follower with the graphite, uh, a relubricated standard katana mag, and a stock katana mag. So I'm going to be comparing those just to see how they hold up and which one sort of works better. Uh, so we'll test that, and then I'll finish the results of that video after that's Okay, so while I was printing stuff, I printed a bunch of extra caliburn parts in case myself or anyone else happens to break theirs. So I got some extra spreaders, some extra sears, and some extra plunger heads because I figured that those would be the most likely to break. Uh, these two are both PETG, so they're very strong, 100% infill, so they should be pretty rock solid, but just in case anyone needs those, you know, it's no fun to play with broken blasters, so I figured I'd print off some extras while I was doing some for myself. In terms of other prep, I forgot that I needed to make a pistol for the pistol rounds because I haven't played at a higher FPS game in a while, and I just planned on using Caliburn, so I made this thing. It's pretty ghetto. It's got googly eyes, just because I was going to paint it, but it rained literally the whole time and I had to make this in a day. So I just did a little sharpie and some Google eyes, so should be good enough. Home Depot, 25 pound spring, uh, grooved catch spring set up for a speed loader, just pretty old school setup, but it should hold me over. So I put my Eclipse cage into this test strife. I was going to try it out uh, at a war, however it looks like it's going to rain a lot. 
tomorrow, so I don't want to get my first impressions of the Eclipse in a high FPS game with it being wet. More specifically, because I wanted, I set it up to do it with short darts, and I feel that because there's a smaller surface area, if the, once the darts are wet, they won't grip as well. So I don't want that to be my first impression with this setup, so I'm going to stick to my Caliburn and my Air Blasters, and then we will try this out some other time. Okay, so here we have all my stuff pretty much packed, uh, various blasters. Most of it fits in this bin, luckily, so it should be easy to carry. Uh, all different ammo types. If anyone actually has more Zing arrows than I do, please comment. I have about 60. I only brought the uh, 30 or so of the actual dome ones, which go far the section one, so kind of useless. But, uh, yeah, pretty much ready to go. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up my APOC prep for today. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm probably at the event right now. Looks like it's going to rain, so hopefully we don't get too soaked because there's not a rain date. Uh, hopefully that was enjoyable. I'm not sure what kind of video this is going to turn out to be just because it's sort of all over the place in terms of the different things I was working on. But if you want to see more videos like it, let me know. Or the same thing, if you don't want to see videos like that anymore, let me know that as well. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another video.